Hi there, welcome to another video of this course. Now in this video, we are going to compare the GPT 3.5 version versus the GPT 4 version. So basically, we are just comparing the free version to the paid version and seeing if that paid version is worth that $20. Now I'm pretty sure that you're wondering whether this course is for the free version or for the GPT 4 model, which is the paid version. Well, don't worry, this course is all about a generalized view of prompting techniques and being creative in order to generate responses that you want from ChatGPT. So you can apply the generalized techniques that I give you for the free version as well as the GPT-4 version and you don't have to pay for the premium version. And in this video, I'm just comparing between the paid version and the premium version and I'm showing you that these are the features of the premium version if you don't have the premium version. So that's all I'm trying to do in this video. I'm just trying to inform you about what the features are for the paid version. Now, as you can see on the screen, this is the difference between the free version and the paid version. In the free version, you can see that you have the GPT 3.5 model. But on the paid version, you have more features. In the paid version, you have the GPT 4 model, which gives more accurate answers compared to the GPT 3.5 model. You have the integration of DALI with ChatGPT. And if you don't know what DALI is, DALI is actually an AI tool where you can generate images by using command prompts. So you can just give a prompt like Joe Biden arm wrestling Donald Trump and DALI is capable of generating those kinds of images. So you have integration of ChatGPT with DALI and by that what I mean is that you can just give a command prompt to ChatGPT to generate a particular image and ChatGPT is going to generate that image for you. Now the third feature of the paid version is web browsing. So in the case of the web browsing, if ChatGPT doesn't know a particular information, you can ask ChatGPT to browse the web and give you the results. So that is a very good feature which you do not have in the free version. Lastly, you have advanced data analysis tools and that would be really helpful if you have some data and you want to analyze it. So I'll be showing you a few examples of these paid version features. Now on the screen, you can see that I have generated a few images using ChatGPT and this is the first thing that I wanted to show you. So now as you can see on the screen, I have generated a few images using ChatGPT. I just went into ChatGPT and I typed, I want this image, I want an image of Christmas, I want an image of Romeo and Juliet, etc. And ChatGPT generated those images for me. So this is the first feature that I talked about. It is having integration with DALI. Now moving on, the second feature that I told you was about uploading documents. ChatGPT is capable of uploading any kind of documents. And as you can see on the screen, I have already uploaded three different kinds of documents. And those three kinds of documents are the Word document, the MS Excel spreadsheet, and PowerPoint presentation. So you can upload any kinds of documents into ChatGPT just by dragging it into ChatGPT. And you can see that there is an attachment icon. If you just click on that, you can also upload using that method. And by that, let's move on to the next feature. And the next feature that I mentioned was the advanced data analytics tools. Now, as you can see on the left image of the screen, I gave ChatGPT a particular code of Python. And you can see that I told ChatGPT give the output for the following code and I copied and pasted that code. And you can see that just below ChatGPT is analyzing it. So that is the advanced analytics tool of ChatGPT and on the left image you can see that ChatGPT has given me the output of that particular code and it reads the output of the provided code for the word race car is true. This means that race car is a palindrome as it reads the same forward and backwards. So you can see that I gave ChatGPT a code and ChatGPT gave me the output for that particular code. Now this can be done for any programming language and on the right side of the screen for the output that ChatGPT gave, you can see that next to the word backwards, at the end, there is a blue icon. So when I click that blue icon at the end, you can see that ChatGPT has shown me its analysis tool. You can see the code and at the end, you can see the output. Now moving on to the final feature that I mentioned about, the final feature was ChatGPT4 is having web browsing. And as you can see on the screen, I asked ChatGPT what is the current price of Bitcoin and ChatGPT is browsing the web to get that answer because ChatGPT doesn't have real-time information. So ChatGPT does browse the web and after browsing the web you can see on the right side ChatGPT gave me the current price of Bitcoin and that would be an easy example of web browsing by the paid version of ChatGPT. And now these were the few advantages of using the paid version over the free version of ChatGPT. Make a wise choice. If you feel like you want the paid version, just go for it. And by that, let me conclude this video and I'll be seeing you in the next video.